As an Etsy seller, you inevitably need to start running ads if you wanna scale your store because it's gonna put your products in a larger number of search results at the top, so it's gonna increase the likelihood that customers are gonna make purchases. And the way that Etsy ads work are a lot like Google AdWords and the fact that when people type in relevant search terms on Etsy, if you're bidding for those keywords, your product will show up at the top of search results and so you'll have a higher likelihood that they'll click your product and not a competitor's product and then make that purchase. But but the thing is with stuff like Google AdWords or Amazon PPC, you can actually type in your ads and decide what keywords you wanna place bids on. On Etsy, you can't, right? So the only thing that you can really do is turn on your ads, choose an objective, choose the products that you actually wanna run ads to, and then slowly optimize from there. Based on what's actually in your listing picture, based on your title, your description, and your keywords, and based on the reaction and the responses of the traffic on Etsy, Etsy's gonna make an informed decision about what exactly is in your listing. And that's going to reflect in your ads because when you turn an ad on for that product based on those parameters, Etsy's going to choose what keywords it thinks your product is related to and then run ads on those keywords. The whole reason I'm saying this is because if you simply turn on ads and then never optimize, it's going to waste your money. I promise you. What you need to do instead is choose an objective that works for you, run ads for a set period of time, right? For a week or two, make sure that there's enough budget in your ads so that it can test and start to suggest keywords for those specific products. And then once it's been a week or two, then you wanna go back into every single product that you're running ads for and optimize them to see what keywords are profitable, which ones are relevant and which ones aren't. And we're gonna go back into all those products and turn off all the irrelevant keywords. And that should hopefully optimize that product so that it's only bidding on keywords that are relevant and not on keywords that aren't. Obviously over time, you wanna optimize what products you're running ads to as well. So if you're going through through and Etsy's already decided what keywords to run ads on and you've already gone through and honed in the keywords that you think are relevant and it's still wasting money on that product, then you wanna turn it off. So here we are on my dashboard right here and you'll notice that you can click on detailed stats next to a product. When you click on detailed stats, it's gonna take you into the advertising for that specific listing, okay? And then you wanna come down here and you'll notice, okay, orders that came from this ad and searches that led to this ad. So if you click in searches that led to this ad, this is the best place that you can hone those things down. Etsy is literally telling you this is all the searches that it showed your product to and who clicked on it whether it resulted in a sale and whether they charged you and for how much, right? So you simply want to go through and figure out which one of these are relevant and which ones aren't, because if they're irrelevant, you don't want to be spending money on those keywords, because if it shows up in a search result that is irrelevant and somebody clicks on it, they're going to charge you for that. And the likelihood that that results in a sale is next to zero. So funny t-shirt. Yeah, I would love for this to show up in funny t-shirt, but the reality is the majority of views are coming from funny t-shirt and I don't want to bid on that keyword because it's too broad. Somebody might type in funny t-shirt and the likelihood that they're gonna purchase this specific t-shirt compared to all the other broad t-shirts that are funny t-shirts is next to zero. So we're gonna turn that one off. Now, obviously Jeffrey Dahmer, this is a Jeffrey Dahmer t-shirt. It's a funny play on Jeffrey Dahmer. So we wanna keep that relevant search term. That would make sense. If somebody types Jeffrey Dahmer into the search results on Etsy, this t-shirt showing up would have a higher likelihood to be purchased. And so that's something that we wanna keep. Again, funny t-shirts, no funny t-shirt, funny t-shirts. Dahmer, we're gonna keep that one. Funny t-shirt, we're gonna turn that off. Vegan t-shirt, so this is obviously a vegan t-shirt as well. It's like a funny play on Jeffrey Dahmer, who I believe ate people or ate meat or something like that. It's been a while since I've seen the documentary, but obviously this is a funny play on a vegan t-shirt, so we're gonna keep that. Dahmer shirt, meat shirt, we'll keep that. That one might be irrelevant, but we'll check obviously over time. We're gonna turn off t-shirt, turn off t-shirt, turn off this one, this one, this one, this one. We'll turn off meat, it's too broad. Funny t-shirt for men, no. Vegan shirt, we'll keep that one. And you can see here that this has only gotten nine views from this. I did just turn on the ads for this product. It's a relatively new one that I just launched. So that's why there's not that much data for it. But you'll see that this only got nine views. So it showed up in nine search results for people that searched in vegan shirt, but it led to one click, right? Which obviously hasn't led to a sale yet. But the likelihood that someone types in vegan shirt and sees this, thinks it's funny and purchases it is a lot more likely than if someone were to type in just broad, like funny t-shirt, which would spend a bunch of our money, but not result in sales. The whole point of this is to hone them down. So we're profitable on every single product. Jeffrey Dahmer, 
shirt. Obviously, we want to keep that. T-shirt funny? No. Meatloaf t-shirt? Not relevant. Not relevant. Vegan meat? Yeah, we're going to keep all these. Probably turn off Jeffrey. Men's funny shirts. We'll type in this one right here. We'll keep Jeffrey Dom Mir because that's probably just a typo. So we'll keep that. Smoking meats. We'll turn off all of these, okay? And so you can see that that's the process that you want to go through with all of these products. And again, I want to hit home that you can't do this if you're spending like $5 a day on your ads and it's only been like a week. Or even if you're spending $50 to $100 on your ads and it's only been a few days, you don't want to do this yet because it hasn't given you enough data. It hasn't gone through and optimized yet enough on Etsy's end so that you can do this. So you need to spend a little bit of money. You need to spend a little bit of time and you might not be super profitable in the beginning. Let's say you turn it on to like 20 bucks a day and you run it for a week or two, right? Maybe it spends 300 bucks, but you make back 290 or you make back 250. So technically you probably lost like 100, maybe 150 bucks based on your profit versus the ads. But then you'll have the data to go back in and hone your ads down and make them better. And slowly over the course of the next month or two, as you continue to do this with all the products, all the keywords on the products, your ads will slowly become more and more profitable. And that's the process of going through Etsy ads, optimizing them for specific keywords on products. And then obviously once you do that, turning off the products that aren't profitable. So if we go back to the main page right here, you'll notice that some of these are spending like 35, 14, $5. And so the key factor that you want to go through here is look at the row as obviously that matters, which is all the way to the right, which is your return on ad spend. You also want to look for the sales that come from it. So this one got a sale, this one got a sale, this one got a sale. But the most important number in my opinion is know the average profit of that item, right? So for example, if I know that the average profit on this t-shirt is $8 and I spent $14.63 to make $19.95 back, that looks profitable from a ROAS standpoint, right? Because my revenue is higher than my ad spend. But let's say I did this over and over again and I spent like $300, I need to know whether or not I'm profitable for every single sale. So the way that I do that is I take my average profit for that item. So again, let's say $8 for this item and I made one sale. So that would mean that I'm $8 profitable for this item. And obviously $8 is a lot less than $14.63. Now, if I had made two sales on this item, which would be $16 profit, not again, like almost 40, like it would tell me with my revenue. So if I made two sales and at an $8 profit margin, that would be $16 profit, but I only spent four 1463, then I would be profitable. And so that's how I approach it. That's how I hone my ads down. And that's how I bid on specific keywords and turn products off and on to make sure that I'm constantly optimizing my Etsy ads so they get better over time. As always, this is just what works for me. Hope it helps.